not sure what's happening. Listen, I am many things, but I am not a fool. I know that you hate me. Roger, that... No, no, please, let me finish. All these years, you've hated me, and not without provocation. Suddenly, here, in this place, of all places, it's as if the past never happened. Oh, yes, it happened. It's just that we have two pasts, you and I. The one before. And the one after. Yes. And for so long, all I could remember was the one after. Me too. And then I don't know where it changed, but suddenly I started remembering the man I used to know. The man I married. <laughs> Who was that man? rescued Alan Michael for Blake for our daughter. And I saw the real love shining in your eyes. Of course I love my daughter. I know, but I didn't know before that night when you talked about all the time lost between the two of you. And I saw how, how it hurt you. To have lost my daughter. To have lost you. And it, it shocked me, you know, to see this pain. because I thought that, that something had been destroyed a long time ago. What? The idea of you and me. It was love once. I don't know. We thought it was love. Anyway, one morning I woke up and all this weight that had been on my heart for so long just disappeared. I just... I realized I, I couldn't hate you anymore. Is this true? If you knew how many years I have despaired of yeah, ever hearing this. I know this. despair. How many days and nights I have prayed for you to stop hating me. Prayed for you somehow to forgive me. But I knew that your hate was so deep and so pure that nothing could change it. And why should it? I didn't deserve that. So finally, I just gave up hoping. I mean, I gave up wanting you to change. That hate was all I had. It kept me going. If I could hate you, I didn't have to feel the pain. You said you never stopped. You said you stopped wanting me to change. Did you ever stop wanting me? rid of the past unless there is a resolution a resolution an end a healing once and for all Do you understand i think so yeah yeah i think i understand I am not going to buy that anymore. 
I mean, every time you and I try to act like human beings, you drag out this old argument that I'm the one who complicated everything by falling in love with you. Now, Shorty, that is your problem, not mine. Falling in love was the least of it. That was the easy part. A little jab here, an uppercut there. I have a strong heart. I can roll with a punch. No. What knocked this contender out of the ring is the fact that I thought we were friends. Good friends. Or have you forgotten that too? May come as a shock to you, but where I'm going is none of your business. Well, let me see if I can guess. Los Angeles. Nah, too smoggy. South of France? Nah, that's too trendy. I know. Acapulco. Yeah, of course. Steamy Acapulco. Now, that makes sense. Word has a Roger Thorpe's up to his neck in tortillas, even as we speak. Real disappointed in you, Melinda. <laughs> you can't imagine how little I care. Why'd you just pack your bikini in your desk? Oh, is there nothing you don't stick your nose in? Apparently not. That's right. I forgot. You're a cop. Operator, get me the police. I hope the DA's office enjoys tomorrow's headline. A.C. Malik, cop arrested for harassment. If you don't get out of here by the time I count to three. Is this how we met? One. We were giving some poor jerk the two, boot on the counter. Two, three. Mindy, relax. It's a friendly call. Oh, you don't know the meaning of the word. I was just out checking up on your little brother. I heard he put some heavy-duty dents in Henry Chamberlain's Bentley. It's a neat trick. You know, you carry the concept of gall to transcendent heights. Well, nothing sacred. For your information, little Billy is it's fine. home, I know. Safe and sound. Please, make yourself comfortable. <clears throat> Thank you. I was kind of hoping we could get past everything that's happened. Oh, please, you really are a scream. Well, we have some unfinished business. No, the only thing I have to finish is my packing. Don't let me stop you. You know, there's something you never acknowledged. I was right, you know. The night old Raj blew my cover. Philip is alive. You know, it's true. I wish it were true. For so many reasons, but mainly because if Philip were alive, he would drive you crazy. He would send you around and around in circles for the rest of your life. And if we were all really lucky, you might just spin off the face of the earth. Because you are wrong about Philip. He's... Philip is innocent. Huh? And that's the reason you hate me so much? Among others. Well, maybe this will improve your mood. I'm not so sure anymore that Phil's guilty. Are you? Are you for real, or is this another one of your little traps? Well, I don't know. Why don't you convince me? Place where single guys 